Hello everyone, my name is Rob and today we're going to make a paracord survival bracelet. I'm outside on my deck today with the sounds of the chickens in the background and we're looking at the supplies we're going to use today to make our bracelet. A pair of scissors, paracord, a measuring tape, a buckle, a lighter, and we're ready to get started. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to measure our wrist. There's a couple different ways you could do this. You could wrap a piece of paracord or a strip of paper around your wrist to get the mark so you can measure it with a ruler or a measuring tape. I measured mine and it came out to 8 inches. So now we know how big our wrist is, we're going to make an adjustment to make the bracelet bigger than our wrist so it's going to fit. I made a few and to make an 8 inch bracelet I need to make my bracelet 8 and a half inches so I'm going to add a half an inch to this bracelet to make it fit my wrist. Okay, so how much cord do I need to use? This is a thousand foot roll of cotton candy. You don't need that much. So let's move this out of the way. Here's what we're going to use. This is about nine feet. Rule of thumb, start with one foot of paracord for every inch of bracelet you're going to make. So I'm going to make eight and a half, I rounded up to nine, and I got nine feet of cord that I'm going to start with. The first thing we're going to do is to load the cord into the buckle. This buckle has three holes on it. There's two on one side and one on the other. So we need to find the center of the cord first. We did that by putting the ends together and then folding it in half and finding the middle. Now the way that I make mine, and everyone does it a little bit different, but for consistency, we're going to load the buckle with the center that we found, the loop here. Go down through the top of the side that has the single hole, and bring it through enough so that you can fold back around, and pull this down. So it looks like that. So once you have this side of the buckle ready, you're going to take the cut ends, bring them around, and I put them through the first hole. And pull them through. We have this. Okay, so now we're going to lay out the buckle. I used scotch tape so you can see what's going on. Now remember I had to add an extra half inch to my original wrist measurement of eight inches. So my total bracelet is eight and a half inches. Now, we separated the buckle and laid it out flat. Notice the strands are coming out the bottom. And I started measuring at the point where the prongs meet the buckle. We don't want to measure the part that goes inside the other half of the buckle. Taped it down. You want to make sure it's secured because you're going to be working with it. And I went right out to eight and a half inches. This side you measure right to the flat part. And this is what you should look like. 
Okay, so let's get started with the cobra stitch. Notice the two strands are coming out the bottom. We have one on the left and one on the right. For now, we're going to move the right one up out of the way. We're going to take the left one. We're going to go across the two middle strands. Kind of making a loop. Next, we bring the right strand straight down over top, kind of making a four. Then take the right strand, go underneath the middle two strands, and up through the loop that you made on the left hand side, kind of making a pretzel. Gently pull your first stitch up to the buckle. Great. First stitch is done. Now let's start with the next stitch. First time we move the right strand out of the way, this time we're going to move the left strand out of the way. And we're going to take the right side. Bring it across the center two strands. Making our loop. Left strand is going to come down right over top of the left strand. Left strand needs to go under these two center strands and then up through the loop. And pull it tight. The next stitch is the same as the first. Taking the left side, crossing, right strand straight down, taking the end underneath the center two, making our pretzel. And snugging it up. And once again, moving the left side out of the way, we're going to take the right strand. Bring it across. Left strand drapes over. Underneath the center two and up through the loop. Making that pretzel shape. And snug it up. And you're gonna alternate back and forth until you get to the end. I just wanna give you a tip here in case you forget what side you're supposed to start on. These strands here that are coming together under this loop this is the side that you're always going to start on. So this strand will start this way here. So then the next time you're going to be on this side of the knot and you'll start over here. So you don't want to start with the side that's coming up from underneath through the loop. Okay, so I finished doing the stitch all the way to the end and I went as far as I could so I couldn't put any more in there. And this is what you should have. Next thing you want to do is try it on before you cut anything off. Make sure it fits. Okay, now you want to get your scissors and you're going to cut the ends off. One, and 
and there's two. We want to leave a little bit on there so we can melt them down to secure them to the rest of the bracelet. Okay, so I went and stole a candle from the wife's candles and I'm going to use this because of windy out here instead of the lighter. So now I'm going to get the part I want to melt close to the flame. Let it do its thing. You don't really want this blowing around like it is, but I'm outside. I don't want to catch it on fire. Or singe the rest of the bracelet. You also don't want to uh, touch any of this while it's still bolted because it's very hot and you will burn yourself. Okay, I want to do this a little bit more. See, my candle will stay lit. Okay, well, you get the idea. You're going to have something like this. I'll take the candle inside and finish it off and then show you the finished picture. Okay, so I finished it off and that's what we got. Beautiful Desert Camo Survival Bracelet.